Welcome to another episode of Cat Simplified Content. In this episode, we are going to take a look at basic spreadsheet formatting. Right, I will start using 2026 question paper. Right, I have this spreadsheet here. And these are the worksheets. When we talk about the worksheet, there are the different sheets inside the workbook. So in spreadsheet, you can create a number of worksheets. You can create a number of them. You can delete them as well. Right, so I'll start with merge and center. Let's say, for instance, I want to merge this cell from A1, this is cell A1, up to G1. I want to combine the content in cell A1 up to the content in cell G1, so that there will be one, one cell. I select them. You will find merge and center here. Right. Or alternatively, when you select, you can go to the search and type merge. So you find merge and center. So both of them can be able to use to achieve the same results. Right. Now, when you merge and center, you can also be given a question to change the width of the row. So this is row one. This is row two, row three. So if I want to change the width, I select the row, the row number over there. I right click and see row height. Right, so when I click on row height, let's say I want to change it to 20. Again, you can also change the column width. Let's say I want to change the column width so that everything will be visible. I go between C and D, the border there, make sure that the icon or maybe the two tips has changed. Then you double click. Between D and E, I want to also expand it. I double click. So that everything will be fully visible. Right. And then there's also a time that you can be given a question that says the content, let's say in row five, I must bold them. That's the heading. So I select row five. Bold, you get it under font. You click on bold. And then again, if I want the content to be all visible, I use a rep text, rep text then everything will be visible. Now, if I want less amount paid in to be in two lines, you must click on rep text and then you narrow the column width. There we go. So here also I want it to be in two lines. I must expand it. Yes. So that's how we format in such a way that everything will be fully visible. First of all, you must wrap text and then you narrow or you widen the width. Right. Now, if I want to fill or shade in this cell A1, to shade, you just right click and then you see format cells. Or alternatively, when you select, you go to search, you type format cells. Now with the format cells, we have number, alignment, font, border, fill, and protection. So when you go to format cells, you can fill with a color. You can also use the pattern style. The question can also ask you to use the pattern style to fill in. Or the question can also tell you to use the gradient fill. So here I use the pattern style. Let's say this one I want to use 
a gradient fill. You right click format cells, fill, gradient fill, you click on fill effect. So it can be diagonal up and then you change the colors. There we go. So if you want to format the cells and fill in, you right click, format cells, or alternatively, you go to search and type format cells. Right, at the same time, I can also put a border around it. So I can go to border from format cells. You choose the border type, and then also the border color. Then how do you want to place the border? Whether on the top, you click on top, and then bottom. If the question says, put it on the um, vertical, the two side vertical, you remove that side, you click on the two side, the vertical. Or if you want to put the border around the whole thing, you click on outline. Sometimes they can even ask you to put a diagonal line also as well. So you go to border and then choose the border style, the border color, and then how you want to place it. Right. Now, another thing is to change how the text are orientated. That's called orientation. Now, if you want to change the orientation of the text, let's say row five, I want to change the orientation of this text. You can change it also from format cells. You right click format cells. You see alignment and then orientation under alignment. So under the alignment, you can text align vertical, which is center, and horizontal also center. And then the alignment or the orientation, you can change the degrees. Let's say I want to change to 45 degrees. There we go. Or you can do the same thing also by going to this alignment tab from the home tab, the alignment group. Then you see AB, you click on the arrow. So you see anti-clockwise, angle clockwise, or rotation text, rotate text up, or rotate text down. So any of them, that is how um, we apply the orientation. Right. The next topic regarding formatting will be um, we move to how to maybe change the data type. As you can see here, all these cell phone numbers, only this one. When I put a zero, the zero vanishes. So now, if I want this zero to be there, it means I must change it, the data type to text. Again, you right click, format cells. You can find that one under number formatting. Then you see text. So if I change it to text, now, when I put a zero, it will not vanish. Right. That's the number formatting. Alternatively, you can get it from number formatting here and then choose text. Right. The date also, you can be given a question to change the format of a date. Yes, let's say the date of birth, we are asked to change the whole format of the date of birth. You go to number format, you custom, then you can change the date of birth. Let's say we want it to be the year first, so it will be DD-MM-4Y. That is the year, the day, dash, the month, dash, then the year. Right, so now you can see initially we're having slash now, we have dash separating them, and then the year is also at the end. So basically, you can change the formatting of the date to any date format that you want. 
The same thing applies to currency. Let's say we don't want this in rent and you want to change it to dollars. You go to number format and the currency, you choose the currency that you want. Let's say Canadian dollars and then the decimal place is two. Right. So basically, this is how we change the formatting. Now, as you can see here, when I scroll down, you realize that the top heading is always gone. So if I want from row one up to row three to always remain on top so that it will start, or maybe from row one up to row five to always remain on top, and then the actual data from row six will be will be the one that will not be displayed on top. So because I want to start from here, row six, so that it will not display on top, I select row six. And then I go to free Spain. Free Spain, I'll get it from view. Then you see free Spain. Then you click on free Spain. So now, as you can see, when I scroll down, from row one to row five will always be on top. And then from row six will be the one not displayed. Right. We can also get the free Spain from search. You just type free Spain and then you easily go there. Right. Now the last part under formatting or the basic formatting will be how to sort and how to filter. Let's say this is the data I want to sort according to the class. So if we want to sort, you select from the heading and then all the data. You get a sort from data as well, data tab, or you can go to search and say sort. Then you click on this sort, right. Now, it says sort by. So let's say I want to sort by the same name. I select same name, A to Z, meaning ascending order. And then if I want to sort again, I click on add level, meaning I want to sort again by the name, also A to Z. Then I click OK. So it will be sorted according to same name from A to Z, and then by the name from A to Z. Right, that's how we sort. And also, to change the tab color, if I want to change this tab color, I right click, tab color. Let's say I want to change it to red. You right click on the tab, tab color, so that you have different colors. Now, if I want to delete this sheet one, I right click, you see delete. If you want to create a new one, you click on this plus, that's the new sheet, and then you'll be having a new sheet. Now, when you right-click on this sheet three, let's say I want to rename, change the name. Then I say grade eight. And if I want to do other things to that sheet, you right-click. Anytime you right-click, you see hide, tab color, move or copy, and then rename and delete and insert. So if I want to move this one to the first one, I click on it, then I drag it to the first space. So that will be the first tab. Right. Thank you.